Division two will be a step up. So we have to build on that, and that, that means by working harder, making sure that we, we, we consolidate our position in Division two next year. I know it's, it's early days to talk about these things, but that's, that's just the time we have to plan these things yeah. out. But in Division in division two, Michael, Westmead, Carlo, well, Westmead are going down, but Carlo, Kerry, we. Kerry are very strong in a similar age group. Westmead have a fantastic minor team at the moment. They're going down, I said they had a rocky road this year, yeah. but they have a fantastic minor team this year. At uh, least have a very strong minor team this year. Vision. Maybe the resources will be more, maybe the commitment will be more, uh, but uh, well, it's a great note to leave uh, Pierce Park on. Uh, we've been here on days when the footballers have uh, yeah, 12 because there'll be interesting matches. And Wexford will be the visitors, maybe to Michael. Yeah, it's great. That's what people want to. People, you know, a, lot, a lot of hard decisions to make in East Coast Radio. And I don't think there's no choice between Wicklow and, uh, Wicklow and Kilkenny in London and Wicklow and Wexford. So. <laughs> don't worry, we won't, we won't be doing uh, following some of that over the uh, weeks ahead. My thanks to Mark Armstrong as well, who produced. And uh, I, we have to race back now to our uh, evening show. That's, uh, at uh, 8 o'clock, and don't forget Leo Cullen tonight will be uh, uh, joining us tonight, so that will be an interesting interview. The Leinster captain, the Irish international, and we're delighted to have uh, Leo uh, tonight. If you have any comments, of, co of course, don't forget to text us on uh, 083 to retreat about uh, Jonathan making the uh, show with the world. We say well done, Wicklow Harlan, well done, Wicklow Hogan, Jack and Yeager. All those who have struggled very hard in Wicklow Harlan over the years, they've got some payback today. Who match you? Today, you broke that you are now ready for the big step up. Yeah. It was at the game and after it was the same paint. There was times maybe in the first 15 minutes when your heads may have dropped and maybe your thoughts were able to stay away. Huh? Huh? You are already ready to make the step. I think it's late and added to it. Hey, Nathan, get out to it. Yeah. 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 But I'll tell you anything worth my name, I think it's very well. Yeah. I've seen the victory team get the cup. So we bring you home, will we? Yeah. 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 You'll see more of them now that they go up. Yeah. 
just wanted to say that this is a long point point. <laughs> I think this set of players has been the best set of players that's been in the league. Division 2, Division 3, Division 3B. I think we've proved it over the last four or five years that we deserve this cup more than any other team in the country. We knew at the beginning of the year, after winning the chance of the league last year in Division 3B, we knew we didn't want to be in that division. We said if we get up to 3A, we have a good chance of winning 3A. We knew if we trained hard, put the hard work in, we would win this cup, lads. It started back when we were in London, eight points down at half time, lads. We come back to London by a point, and that was called hard, lads. That's what's in this team, lads. Hard. Pure hard. I'd like to thank the referee and the officials. The referee has the hardest job of any, any, any sport, lads. No matter what decision he makes, he's always wrong. So, lads, I just want to thank the referee and his officials. I'd also like to thank our sponsors, Brennan's Hotels, Brian Brennan. This is our first year. Cheers, Brian. I'd also like to thank Nick Hagen, our county chairman. This is his third year in charge, lads. And Mick Hagen is, is a hurling man, lads. He loves hurling, huh? He never misses a training session and he's always there. Cheers, Mick. I'd like to thank Jackie. Jackie Neville, I think he's been around. Oh, I'd have to say 90 years now. <laughs> Sorry, um, you okay? We all know Jackie Lacks. His heart is here. He cries for every occasion. Cheers, Jackie. Jackie. I'd also like to thank John Kelly, our kid man. John Kelly has been here. I don't think he, he hasn't missed a training session. He's been with us for the last 15 years or 16. And we all know what he's like for Harlem Hodge and Tony. Cheers, Jeff. Thank you, our physios, John Murphy and Dr. Brennan Cuddy. Uh, it's great to keep the lads off the table. Cheers, lads. I'd also like to thank you. Our trainer Gary Jemison. This is the first year, lads, where we did train in totally different off the wall. There's no mad running. We're not told to do 40 laps at home. Something's been asked of us, and we're there, and we're there because of our fitness. Cheers, Gary. I'd also like to thank our supporters. A small amount of supporters, lads. But again, I think we have the best supporters in the country because, as we know, it's hard to follow the hurlers, but lads, the people that follow hurlers, we all know you love hurling. There you are, Mike. Thanks very much. Seven. <laughs> Come on, me. Two, two, Andy. Three musketeers. Oh, sorry, four. Huh? Jim, Bob, Jerry, and Brian. We all know. And Gary's not there. Jerry takes over the train and sometimes we wish that Gary was there. Well there so we don't have to go.